members have never read the book Evicted, it talks about the challenges that tenants and landlords face in different um, urban and rural settings, specifically in Milwaukee. But it definitely highlights how having an eviction on your record makes it very difficult to ever get a new lease. And so we know that people deserve second chances, um, but it's hard to do that when, uh, you know, you have that eviction on your record, even if it was sometime in your um, last week, actually, before we came back up for a session. Uh, so it is hitting home for a lot of people in my community who are evicted without any reasons and our own fixed income. And as we are here talking about the affordability crisis, we know that it's very difficult, especially in Miami-Dade County, to find um, other housing. Members, uh, if anyone's ever done constituent services around housing crisis and housing issues, you will realize that it is very complicated uh, with multiple agencies that uh, interact with homelessness prevention and housing affordability. So just some quick examples, um, you know, during the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic, when we had federal, federally funded programs, um, DCF would manage the rental assistance program through a private entity, but then um, it would be DO that managed the housing mortgage assistance program. Um, we also right now have D DFS, who does uh, programming around property insurance. And of course, um, we also see DCF managing all the homelessness programs with our local community agents. And so, and uh, what this man would do is ensure that you cannot charge more than one month's rent in your security deposit to keep that number um, matching what your monthly rent is. Um, there also must be the option to allow a tenant to pay the security deposit over a specific duration of time. And again, that's just designed to provide them with more options to meet the security deposit needs. For people you love who live paycheck to paycheck, they're not looking to buy that house. They're just, they can, they struggle every single day, every single day. And I'm thinking of family members, so that's why I get upset. So when one way, one particular family member was told uh, her rent was going to be hiked, there was no notice, right? And she lives paycheck to paycheck, so there really isn't a savings account to build up that next first deposit, last deposit, and it cost at least $300 to even get movers to move your furniture. Didn't even have those $300. So when Rep. Escamonte was speaking about, you know, consumer protections. This amendment was inspired by um, a constituent who was evicted on a fixed income, and he's 65 years old and had been sleeping in his car for the last week. I think that this is very important, especially since we have come off of the pandemic. And I can tell personal stories. Actually, um, my younger brother, during that time, his landlord was trying to evict him. He was still working, but his job had cut his hours. Couldn't necessarily afford all of the rent, but he was paying, you know, portions. And it was during the pandemic. Where are you to go?